Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. As Ethereum Classic is becoming quite popular and lots of people are thinking of uh, obviously uh, starting to uh, mine Ethereum Classic, I've decided to make a video and show you how to install an Ethereum Classic wallet and also to show you which wallet I'm using for my Ethereum Classic. Now before we get into the actual uh, wallets, let's quickly look at the market. And as you can see from the screen guys, uh, the market is doing very well. Bitcoin is at $2,656. Ethereum 374, uh, obviously the big one is, uh, uh, you know, in the weekend is the Litecoin close to uh, $48, Ethereum Classic is at 21.17, Dash is also doing very well at 174, Monero close to 50 and Zcash 373 and of course the rest of the coins you can look at it yourself but uh, in general the market is definitely doing very well so that's uh, obviously a good news for us. Now let's get to the actual wallets. Now to uninstall a wallet guys, or if you want to check all the wallets, all you got to do is go to the Ethereum Classic webpage. I'll put a link in the description and once here, we're going to click on the Ethereum Classic wallets. So here we are. So the first one is the multi-platform wallet, which is uh, the JAX wallet. Uh, you know, I've used JAX in the past. It, it was a bit glitchy. Uh, JAX team, I personally don't advise us, the miners, to use it uh, as, a, you know, the JAX wallet uh, for mining. And also they had some problems with hacking, so I personally would not advise you to go for this one, but then again, do your own research and if you want to, then you can install uh, Jack's wallet. Now the ones I'm going to go for in this video uh, to show you are uh, the hardware wallet and also the uh, mist wallet. Now the hardware wallet is the one I'm going to be using, but I'm going to get back to this one in the moment. Now let's look at the uh, mist browser wallet. Uh, because obviously this is a free wallet where the hardware wallet obviously we have to pay for it. Right, so I'm going to install uh, the, the wallet onto my Mac because I'm using a Mac but the uh, process is pretty much identical uh, in Windows as well. So I'm going to click on it, this is the one I'm going to install. It's going to take a moment until the installation is completed so we're just going to wait for a moment. It is pretty quick so should be done in a second. I've got pretty fast internet connection, so here we are. Then I'm gonna click on it, wait for this to be completed, and then uh, it, it's a quite easy process, guys. But it's good to know how to do it and obviously to see how it's done, so you feel a bit confident. Right. So from here, I'm gonna move these two applications, and uh, once installed, I'm gonna go to uh, inside application to start the actual wallet. I'm going to double click on this one and I'm going to double click on the actual wallet. I'm going to close this and I'm also going to close this. Now as you can see I'm prompting with a message so all I'm going to do is click open. Alright, so we're just going to wait for a moment. Now for the installation guys, I'm going to go for the main network. So I'm going to click on the double on the main network. Uh, right, so uh, do you have a wallet file? If you will participate in the Ethereum pre-sale 2014, you should have a file name, Ethereum wallet backup, JSON. It was downloaded after the sale and also sent to your email. If you have one, just drop it here and begin. I don't have one, so I'm going to skip this. All right, in here, guys, you're going to put your password. And it's very important uh, that you save this password somewhere. Very, Because if you do uh, lose it uh, without a password, you won't be able to send uh, any transactions. So definitely very important to remember. Right, so let me put one for myself now, just for the purpose of uh, creating the video. Here we are, I'm going to click next, and this creates the wallet. Now, um, uh, while we're doing that as well, guys, uh, what's going to happen is the Ethereum wallet needs to uh, download the blockchain. Uh, it takes a while. Uh, depending on your internet connection, it may be an hour, it may be less, it may be more, so you, you know, you're just going to have to wait for a bit. <clears throat> uh, this here, guys, is your new address, which uh, you can uh, copy and place into your Genesee Mining, if you are mining with Genesee Mining or any other cloud mining company, or into your, let's say, uh, Claymore, uh, so you can obviously start, start mining with your mining rigs and get your payments into your new wallet. Of course, uh, as well, you can uh, use a Shapeshift and if you have other currency, you can exchange it for Ethereum Classic and then you can uh, get them transferred into your wallet. 
Now I'm not going to wait any further for, for the blockchain or anything like that. So all I'm going to do is here now, I'm going to click next, right? And I'm going to launch the application. <clears throat> now it, it has to sync, uh, but again, I'm not going to wait for all the syncing. I just want to show you the actual wallet inside. So I'm going to click launch application and this should launch the wallet. So here we are, uh, this is my wallet. Uh, and this will be your wallet once you do the same thing and uh, <clears throat> there's as you can see there's few information you can go through it uh, you can uh, wallet send and here's the balance if you actually click in uh, once it's, once you click in the wallet if you click in here you can uh, switch it to let's say to show it to in bitcoin us dollars euro and fini right so here is my address so just to show you how uh, from here i'm gonna copy it uh, this address and then I'm going to show you how to put it into the Genesis Mining if you want to uh, if you are the Genesis Mining and you want to think you want to start mining Ethereum Classic or if you just want to upgrade, uh, obviously update your wallets right so you obviously go into settings and uh, once in settings you click on wallets here is the wallets you go down I already have my Ethereum Classic but all you gotta do is if you don't have one click on it just like here I'll show you and just copy it and that, that will be it and then obviously save now, I'm not going to do that because as you see I already have one so this is how you you obviously update your wallet and if you do as I said switch your allocation or divide your allocation into mining allocation you can add up your Ethereum classic wallet now let's go back to the actual wallet um, right so here it is uh, obviously as I said it's gonna take a while for the blockchain to download one thing I also want to show you guys is that um, you don't have to do this but if you ever want to delete your wallet for whatever purposes, uh, it is very easy, at least for Mac. Uh, for Windows, could be slightly different. I'm going to show you how it's done in Mac because obviously I don't need this wallet, so I don't want to keep it. So let me go back to the wallet. So this is the one. It is a very good, uh, and I advise uh, you obviously to do your own research. But if you're not going to go for a hardware wallet, this definitely it's a very very good wallet to go for it. Right. So. If you want to delete your wallet guys for whatever reason as I said uh, all you gotta do is go to accounts and uh, then click on backup here also you can backup your wallet so once I click uh, account uh, I can then copy the file somewhere else but remember it's very also important to uh, keep your password somewhere safe make sure you write down the password right so I'm gonna click on account as you can see the wallet is right here and I'm gonna click on key store and this is the actual wallet file and all I'm going to do guys is I'm going to delete it and you're going to see the wallet disappearing and that's how easy it actually to delete the wallet uh, so that's how it's done now of course if you want to back up you just uh, you know put this file somewhere else so you have it secured or you can transfer it to another obviously computer right so this is uh, uh, the missed wallet again as I said a very good uh, wallet uh, definitely easy to use as you saw very easy to install so if you do uh, need one guys uh, go ahead and uh, get yourself one right so now let me show you the hardware wallet so we go back to the ledger uh, nano s now as you can see unfortunately the, those wallets are in a very high demand uh, currently the shipping is all the way in September 2nd um, by the way I'm not advertising this uh, wallet this is the one I'm using uh, but no one is paying me to obviously show you this. I'm just showing you the wallet I'm using. I'm very happy with it, and without a doubt, the hardware wallet personally for me is the most secure wallet, um, and uh, de definitely very very convenient. And without a doubt, uh, I personally think much more secure than any of the other wallets that they are available. Uh, so yeah, just uh, I'm gonna link this page as well on the uh, description section, so you can come and check it. But let me open the wallet, guys, for you. Just to show you the actual wallet from inside so once you get the legend on OS you install this uh, wallets into your computer I'm gonna then click on the Ethereum one uh, in inside you have uh, both the Ethereum classic and the Ethereum uh, wallet now I'm prompted on my actually legend on OS to uh, put my password so I'm just gonna put my password guys uh, so bear with me a moment uh, once I put my password I'm gonna get in and as you can see I'm gonna be prompted with the two wallets Ethereum Classic and Ethereum and I'm gonna click on Ethereum Classic it's again a very easy process very easy to use and as you can see guys I'm holding a bit of Ethereum Classic uh, about close to 35 coins 
uh, which I'm very happy with it. If the price is rising, and I think it will, I've actually talked about the Ethereum Classic quite some time ago. I do believe the Ethereum Classic price will rise to about at least a hundred dollars, maybe by the end of the year, or maybe it will take a bit longer. But I definitely see Ethereum Classic price uh, going uh, much higher than what it is right now, especially after Ethereum moving to POS and we no longer are able to mine Ethereum with the GPUs or with the Genesis mining. But rest assured, I've talked about this in details. If you are with Genesis mining or if you are thinking of signing up with Genesis mining, as I've already mentioned, you can uh, switch within your contract uh, to mine already Ethereum Classic. So if you want to go and do that, uh, feel free to do that, guys. It's definitely very profitable to, to mine both. However, if you are mining currently Ethereum, you're earning a bit less coins, but if you switch to mining Ethereum Classic, you will be earning uh, more coins uh, due to the fact that obviously Ethereum difficult is much, much higher than the Ethereum Classic. So here it is, guys. That's my wallet. As you saw, very easy to get into it, very secure. Uh, everything is on, uh, you know, and, 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 and this is the actual wallet. Very small, very convenient to obviously carry with you and one thing to remember if you do get this wallet guys the legend otherwise make sure you uh, write down your phrases because they are more important than the actual device if you do lose the device if it gets stolen if it gets damaged that's not a problem however if you lose your phrases that's it uh, you know we, we are unable to recover our wallet and all these coins that I've just shown you that I have they will be gone well, thank you for watching, guys. If you do have any questions after watching the video or if you want to give any input into the comment section, feel free to do that so we can learn from each other. And yeah, if you enjoy the channel, feel free to subscribe and share. And as well as, uh, as I've just shown you, I'm also with JNC Mining. If you do want to support me uh, in your upgrades, uh, feel free to use my 3% discount code, which you can find in my description section of, of this video and any other of my videos. And uh, yeah, I'm very grateful for your support. And uh, I'll return the favor, just uh, leave me your code as well. So, wish you a happy mining, guys. Uh, do your calculation, check uh, if you want to switch to Ethereum Classic. But before you do that, set yourself the wallet that I've just shown you. Look into the other wallets as well. This is the two wallets I personally prefer that I've just shown you. Obviously, the hardware and the missed one. But you can go for any of the other ones. Or, of course, you can search on the internet if there's anything else available. Uh, but yeah, that's it from me. Uh, I will link uh, this page on the, uh, the Ethereum Classic page in the description in the comment section. I will link the Ledger uh, Nano S page as well. And of course, um, uh, I'm going to link as well, uh, uh, you know, the previous video which I made where I talked about the Ethereum and the Ethereum Classic. So thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. And see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.